Guess we'll get started right away then. Uh, mostly tonight we're just, well, let's just, let's hope we can get all the Jaces and Imperial recruiters. for display. Perfect. There we go. All right, pack one. See if we can start out strong. Also, uh, we have already opened a few boxes for the shop, and as far as the concern goes with it being map packs, well, it looks like it happened in the one time, and right now it just looks to be a freak, like a current skit. From what we had already opened, nothing really noticeable stood out. And our foil is Genju of the Spires. We're starting out strong, though, because our uh, rare is a Blood Moon out of pack one. Timber pack wolf. Oh, yeah. Guy's cool. One of my favorites. Blue Elemental Blast. Got the notables from pack one. I'll just keep that on the side and we can, at the end, look at our top chase rares and such. Pack two. Ah, oh, Squadron Hawk. First card in the pack. Great card. There we go. Prosh, Sky Raider, Mythic, and Pack 2. We just gotta get a foil Prosh. Foil Prosh is the big money because it's never had a foil printing yet. And if you're playing uh, Boggles, we do have a Rancor. But, see, Prosh, first commander I ever built. Guy's a homie. He goes infinite with Food Chain. Let's see, Pack 3. We're just trying to get through these because it's already it's already 10 p.m. A little later. A little later than we were planning on starting. Wolf token in the pack. The really good wolf token from, I think, Zendikar block. It was a Zendikar armored wolf, so I support this. New Art Brainstorm. Net Hill Spell Bomb. Arbor Elf, just in case you want to get on that Ponza train. Relentless Rats, according to TCG, this was the top played, uh, best selling card from the set for pre orders. And pack three delivers with a pack of negation. So, thus far, I mean, three packs in, we're pretty solid on this box. Let's see, pack four. Yeah, have Aura. Supernatural stamina, soul bright flamekin, loyal sentry, plummet. Now that's that's some that's some prime flying removal. Uh, retraction helix, death's hazard buzzard, haunted fengraf, skills uh, bar uh, barring one hundred thousand errors. Zoetic. Nothing too crazy. You just got a thundering titan as our rare, and a foil squadron boy as our well foil guy just coming in to get the rest of his homies. I mean, thus far, if we're, if we're in a nice sealed event, our first four packs have been great. You can just squadron hawk for days. You can play white red squadron hawk and lock your opponent. Uh, nothing too crazy. We have another tempo pack wolf. Great card. Disfigure. Playable. Coalition Relic is the rare. All right. And Phyrexian Ghoul is our foil. Uh, Coalition Relic. I don't remember the price, but I do remember. If I'm correct, I'm pretty sure Coalition Relic was pretty. Is actually up there in value uh, for Commander. So. We'll take it. And on to pack six. Still. So, I mean, we got Blood Moon, so I can't complain. Squadron Hawk number three. I am going to keep a Squadron Hawk count throughout this entire stream. We're at Squadron Hawk number three. Uh, so just in case you wanted to play full box sealed with a with a Masters 25, you have you have three Squadron Hawks. Disfigure. 
Corsair of Crew fixes our rare, and Active Heroism is our foil. So, nothing too crazy in that one. We just got another Squadron Boy. I'm actually going to start another pile for just Squadron Hawks, because... Actually, we'll lay our Squadron Hawks out, out, out across the front up here. There we go. And as somebody who strictly plays, tries to play green and everything, I do love squadron off, even though it's a white card. Just all right, and we're at pack number seven. Thresher Lizard, great limited card. Prophetic Prism, that card. There we go, Dark Ritual. Just whenever you want to ritual out that Phyrexian Obliterator on turn one. Our rare is Fortune Thief, uh, and our foil is Amber Weaver. Nothing too too notable other than the Dark Ritual in this pack. Fortune Thief goes down in our rare pile. Still only one Mythic. So our Frosh is our only Mythic, so it makes sense. We've got one one Mythic for uh, seven packs. We're on pack number eight right now. Uh, Dirge of Dread, Savannah Alliance with the new art. So, I know it's not worth much, but we are gonna. I'm gonna pull that aside. The new art's great. Core Firewalker, just in case you wanna you wanna win that burn mirror match. Sort of supply shares for you, Legacy Boys. Brian Brian Stout Arm and Horseshoe Crab. Uh, let's see, Stout Arm. Lifelink. He's a he's a four drop four four with Lifelink. So he's already putting out his work. And sacrifice another creature. He deals damage to the power of sacrifice creature to target player. Notable is that whenever he does deal damage, he's still gaining the life on it. So he's pretty cool. If anything, he's great and limited. So great limited card to have, just for stat purposes. And the effect is great. There we go. Another act of treason. Another Savannah Lions. Oh man, we've just got a, a whole a whole pride of them. Uh, another Thresher Lizard, Frenzy Goblin, Assembly Worker. There we go. We're back up there. Eidolon of the Great Revel from Born of the Go uh, Journey into Nyx. The Burn Staple now. And nothing crazy. It's about a six dollar card, but you know. It's a great playable right now, yeah, especially in modern. On to the next one. Oh wait, I need to, I need to fix one thing. We did have the full squad hawk. There we go. And on to pack nine, I think, or ten. Three, six. We're on pack ten. Act of Treason, Savannah Alliance. Cultivate, Contestant Bear, Totally Lost, Griffin Protector, Blood Hunter Bat, Uncaged Fury, Counterspell, Night Hill Spell Bomb. There we go, there's a Chase Uncommon. Curse Catcher, uh, Browbeat, Nyx Fleece Ram, Is It Chemister? And it looks like we found our foil, one of our foil rares if we only have one. It's Mika Koro, Center of the Sea, the legendary land from the. Uh, saviors? I could be wrong in that. Don't put me on blast. It's either Saviors or Champions. It should be Saviors of Kamigawa, though, I think. And Curse Catcher. We'll put Curse Catcher over with the rares because he is as expensive as some rares. But we've still... We found, like, three Squadron Hawks in the first four packs and can't find any more. Now we're on the Lions. All we're finding is Lions. Another Lions, a white main one, but... Let's see, Horde on the Uppers, Unearth, Echo and Courage, Choking Tethers, Pillage, Haunted Fengraft, Man of War, Path of Peace. We got an ape. We got a we got a monkey boy in here. F uh, Simian Spirit Guide, a Fiend Hunter, Iron Shaman. We have a non-foil Mikakoro, and a foil Shoreline Ranger. I guess if you want each player to, to draw a card, you can do that right now. And we're going to 
pamphlet, assuming spirit guide, over with chase commons on commons. It's nothing crazy expensive. It is more expensive than, uh, we'll actually move it over here. Nothing too crazy though. Looks like our Blood Moon pack from pack one has been our best pack so far. And... Chartooth Cougar, Act of Heroism, Diabolic Edict, Pyrehound, Mystic of Hidden Way, Timber Pack Wolf, Frenzied Goblin, Court Husser, Assembly Worker, Death Heads Buzzard, Isson's Shade, Regrowth, Mesmeric Fiend, and our rare is Grenzo Dungeon Warden. All baby, but our foil... It's a foil cycling boy. You just pay some life, you draw a card. Should be around the, the watermark probably around a 10 to 12 dollar foil right now so that's a good one to pick up maybe a little bit more i know the modern masters ones are around 12 bucks right now so i expect master 25 to be around the same price it might be a little bit more because of the watermark might be a little bit less because of, uh, it's a newer just came out i don't know it should be sitting somewhere around 10 bucks though so. and onward we got this bomb kraken token. I haven't even noted the tokens yet, but we have a really great to kraken token. He he, it's just it's just going to going to work on that ship. Uh, Urgrader, Sword of the Outburst, Knight of Seward Eye, Kavu, Climber, Arcane Denial, Self Assembler, Skir uh, Skirk Commando, Epic Confrontation. Oh, this guy just just punching a giant lizard thing. Pacifism, Murder, Veloth Null. Uh, Ordeal of Hiliod, Murder of Crows, uh, Lakotis is a champion, and David Reha, this one's for you, Foil Bor Boros Charm. Uh, I know he's been bugging me about, has been frankly annoying me about getting a Foil Boros Charm, so we got some. We got one here for you. And I'm actually going to move the Foil Boros Charm over to the rare pile because... That is a uh, pretty good foil because it only has two now. All in all, this box has been pretty pretty good. Uh, I think we still only have one mythic though in our box, so that's a bit of a letdown. Let's let's try to step it up. Pyrehound, active heroism, accumulated knowledge, ambassador oak, a green boy. We got Nell Sentinel in here. Bloodhunter Bat, Uncaged Fury, Counterspell, and Not Heal Spellbomb again. Arbor Elf for, them pawn, for the pawns of people. Uh, Undead Gladiator, Psy of Shinobi, Zulport Cutthroat. Just in case you want to get back to the Sandler days of uh, uh, the Zulport Cutthroat uh, aristocrat like decks. But our rare is Elvis Piper, so that's a good one. And Haunted Fengraf is our foil. So we'll take that we'll take that rare. That's a good rare. Uh, I know I don't know if the price has changed. The before this they were around ten bucks, maybe a little bit less. So it's a good rare. If it's the same price as the old ones, it covered the price of the pack. I just want to make sure I didn't put any rares in the wrong pile. All right. Uh, AJ, I have not found a foil brainstorm. We haven't opened a foil brainstorm yet in this box. We still have about a little under half the box left to go now, I think. I haven't been paying too, too much attention recently. Uh, I was counting packs. I stopped counting packs. I, 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 did, I, just, I just stopped. I wasn't feeling it no more. Wasn't feeling it. Uh, but we have Bulldovian Horde in pack number one. Uh, for card number one, Ormancer, Community Knowledge, Bastard Oak, another Arbor Elf. Kindle, Dauntless Cather, Cathar, Relentless Rats again. Epic Confrontation, Fencing Ace, Core Firewalker, Fierce Empath, Pyroclasm. Oh man, we got a Hulkin' boy. He's uh, he's just coming. He's going to try to tutor up your Rorkthar when you get it. And an Oriol, uh, Anok, Survivalist, Anok, I don't, I don't know how it's pronounced. Anok, I guess. Uh, let me just... There we go. Uh, actually, Fierce Empath is up there. Shop of the Fierce Empath. Oh, man. Look at all these angry emotes coming in. Angry reacts for me. All right, J Jason. Uh, yet again, this is a good pack with the Protein Hulk in it. Uh, Relentless Rats again. We 
Dude, everyone, everyone's mad at me. I can't, I can't believe you've done this. All right. Soldier, Vampire Lacerator, Chartooth, Cougar, Phantasmal Bear, Cultivate, Sift, Primal Clay, Wooly Loxodon, Jackal Pup, and Jackal Pup. Uh, Fencing Ace, Phyrexian Ghoul. Oh man, we got another, we got another Monkey Spirit. Uh, Fiend Hunter, Invigorate, Gisela, Blade of Gold Knight. All right, there's rare number, uh, mythic number two. And Active Treason is our foil. We're at two, we're at two mythics. They're frankly haven't covered the price of their own packs <laughs> have not covered the price of their own packs so we're still counting on our, our blood moon from pack one to carry us through ape spirit jackal pup I don't know why I put jackal pup over here I just like the card so. I hope that if you're watching this on mobile, the screen is just covered with hearts and angry emotes. Because that's all I got here in the booth. Alright, Thresher Lizard, Renewed Faith, Presence of Gond, uh, Mystic of the Hidden Way, Kindle, Dauntless Cathar, Relentless Rats again. We still haven't found another Squadron Hawk since those first things, so I would pull them out. Fencing Ace, Wooly Locks It On, Perilous Murr, Treasure Keeper. Boris Charm. There we go. There's a there's a there's a good mythic. We got a we finally got Chalice of the Void in here. And our our foil is Uncaged Fury. There there's a there's a pack that paid for itself, and we did get Boris Charm in that pack as well. So, uh, all in all, I'd be I'd be pretty happy to happy to open that pack. Chalice and Relentless Rats. And yeah, AJ, we're at two spear guides so far. Uh, oh man, we got an Elf Warrior token. We know this is going to be a great pack. Matt, we haven't, I personally have not opened a port. I did talk to Seth earlier who said that amongst the other boxes we've opened for the shop, I think we've gotten more than a play set for you. So we do have them. And this pack has an Elf Warrior. So like I said, it's going to be a great pack. Relentless Ripper, Trumpet uh, Trumpet Blast, Cloud Shift, Phantasmal Bear, Ember Weaver, Skirk Commando, Pacifism, Murder, Totally Lost, Griffin Protector, Crozen Colossus, that's actually some sweet art. Ravenous Chupacabra, that's standard all-star. Uh, Kavu Protector, Vindicate. Oh baby, we got a, we got a, I'm not even gonna try to slow it it's just, it's just a Trumpet Blast. That's our foil. Uh, not, I honestly, the foils look good as I, as, as I do enjoy foils, but um, the watermarks don't really pop as much as they do on, like, if you look at the Return of Ravnica watermarks, so, like, on the Abrupt Decays of Death Rite Challenge, where the watermark really pops, the watermark on these foils so far hasn't really, like, it looks good, but it's not, it doesn't pop like those foils, so it's kind of a disappointing. And on to the next one. Goblin. Cloud Shift. Erg Raiders. Kavu Climber. Dragons. Eye Servants. Murder. Totally Lost. Griffin Protector. Oh man, we got another green boy. If you wanted to play elves, we've got two we got two Nell Sentinels so far. Uh Blood Hunter Bat. Uncaged Fury. Pillory of Sleepness. Heavy Arbolet. Arbolesque. Okay. Uh Quicksilver Dagger. Acroma's Vengeance is our rare. Didn't even know that was in the set. But it destroys all artifacts, creatures, and enchantments for six mana. And Vampire Lacerator is our foil. Uh, I need a drink. I've been gotta gotta rehydrate for these last five packs. Then we'll recap on everything we've opened thus far. All right. Onward, Vampire Lacerator, get out of here. Get out of here. Nettle Sentinel, my boy. I'd love to keep you there, but we got to move on. And next one, Renewed Faith. Returned Phalanx, Balduvian Horde, Kavu Climber, Arcane Denial, Counterspell, 
Griffin Protector. Oh man, we have another Nettle Sentinel. We're basically you've got you've got oh, relentless rats, all the tribals. Kindle, Congregate, Jalira, Master Polymorphous, our uncommon legendary creature. Genji of the Spires, Flooded Grove is our, we finally got a non uh, I can't remember the set of the other one or the Mika uh finally a non Mika Koro land from the set. Uh is a rare. Uh Flooded Grove, that's a good one though. It covers the price of the pack, and Vessel of Nascency is our foil. This was a really cool card from Standard. I was a big fan of it, but uh, there we go. Jalira. Relentless Rats. Sorry, I was zoning out there. Relentless Rats and Nelson. We'll get over here. Still nothing crazy. We've opened two, three Mythics. We have gotten three Mythics. Chisela, Chalice of the Void, and Prosh. Nothing too crazy. Uh, nothing. Our Foil Rare wasn't high dollar either. David... Please stop. Stop. Nazumi Cutthroat. Crimson Mage. Accumulated Knowledge Ambassador. Oh, Ghost Shift. Uh, Ghost Ship. Gaunt, uh, Dauntless Cathar. Vessel of Nascency. Twisted Abomination. Chandra's Outrage. She Mad. Piss and Chant. Uh, Crozen Colossus. Spike Shot Goblin. Oh, that guy is cool. Spike Shot. Uh, and if you don't know what he does, one red tap. Spike Shot a Goblin deals damage equal to power to a creature player. He's a 1 2, though. Uh, Urbis's Protector and oh man, these next two are great. Biden of Thassa's are rare, our, our limited bomb card. And Kong Ming Sleeping Jag uh, Dragon uh, is our foil. Our legendary creature, Human Advisor. Four drop that gives all other creatures I control plus one plus one. That's an expensive lord, but you know, it's Kong Ming. onward I just realized we haven't opened a lightning bolt yet I think yeah lightning bolts on the set elf warrior elf warrior it's gonna be a great great pack God's willing diabolic edict cinder swarm there we go told you squadron hawk number four amber weaver choking tethers timber pack wolf geist of the moors fathom seer disfigure pillory of sleepless perilous moor Freed from the real. There we go. Blue Sun Zenith. And our foil is Curiosity. Alright. So that's a solid. I mean, it's solid because we have the Elf Token and the uh, and the Squadron Hawk. But we also got the Commander Playable Blue Sun. Oh my gosh. Blue Sun Zenith. Let me get my, my sack fixed again. I, I totally knocked it over. All right, last two packs. Gotta gotta have good luck. Uh, Bill, the only great thing that we've gotten is uh, Blood Moon from pack one, uh, and we did get Chalice of the Void. So, and some Elf Warrior tokens. I mean, they're great to me. And we got a Stang Twin. There are we're gonna have Stang as our uh, as our rare. Horror of the Broken Lands, Pyrehound, Act of Heroism. Uh, Dirk of the Dread, Plummet, Retraction Helix, Friends of the Goblin, Hunted Fingraft, Borrowing, 100,000 Arrows, Noble Templar, Brute Hatch, Nantuko, Ash Barons. Alright, Ash Barons, that's a good one. We That's our first Ash Barons. Fallen Angel, Living Dead is our rare, not staying. And Choking Tethers is our foil. So, nothing too crazy. We did get the Ash Barons. It's, I think, sitting around 6 bucks right now. Um, but nothing too too crazy out of there. But we are gonna put that over there in the medium to high dollar stuff. Thank you. And last pack, guys. Let's see if we get anything good. After I get through this, we will recap everything we've gotten tonight. Uh, Mod Funkies, Lunark Mantle. Actually, we're going to slow roll the last pack. Mod Flunkies. Lunark Mantle. Horror of the Broken Lands. Cultivate. Shoreline Ranger. Disenchant. Self-Assembler. Epic Confrontation. Secure Commando. Pacifism. Zoetic Cavern. Zombify. 
Beard landscape. All right, and that's uh, that's a good one to wrap up on. Our our uh, final, our rare is Azusa, Lost but Seeking. And our foil, less exciting, Death's Head Buzzard. So we'll just move this over to our foil pile. But Azusa, that's a good, that's a good one to wrap up our last pack on. And let's do a recap on everything we have gotten. Uh, I thought Sang was rare, uh, Jay. I'm actually pretty sure Sang was rare. Uh, let me let me check that. Because now I want to know. I thought it was rare, though. Uh, Sang. Sang, Sang. Sang, where you at? Master 25. Spoiler. Should be down here at the bottom. Hmm. Yep, Sang is uncommon. I don't think we, we got his token, but we didn't get him in any pack. Which is wild. But, we'll live with it. And let's see what we got. We got our four squadron hawks, so that's what's important here. I think, what do we get? We got three nettle sentinels. So if you're looking to play elves, we do have some nettle sentinels. Also among the other, I think I said eight boxes we've opened. We should have a few more nettle sentinels. Uh, lots of relentless rats. But I don't think y'all care about the uncommons as much as I do. Uh, as far as chase foil uncommons go, we uh, yeah, uncommons, we got the... Uh, Boris Charm and the Street Wraith. Uh, our other foils, nothing real notable. Uh, oh wait, I just kid, just kidding. Fierce Empath is a notable and common that's foil. Uh, uh, Jay, I don't think his initial one is foil, considering he's le uh, I think he's legendary. I'm pretty sure he's a legendary uncommon now. Yeah, he's a legendary creature, and you put in, create a legendary 3 4 and token name Sang Twin. So, yeah, uh, he was probably a rare before. Because they, uh, they didn't have legendary uncommons until the last master set iconic. So, Fierce Empath is a notable foil uncommon. And it's an elf. It's a great card. I don't know. Don't know what else you want. It's green, it's foil, and it's an elf. So my answer tied is probably the best best card we've opened. Uh, Zeus the Lost but Seeking. Ash Barons. Living Death is a rare. Blue Sun Zenith. Biden of Thassa. Flooded Grove. Akromo's Vengeance. I'll put Vindicate somewhere here in the middle. Chalice of the Void. That's a good one. Scenic Spirit Guide. Gisela. Protein Hulk. Grenzo. Uh, Elvish Piper. Foil Boros Charm. Uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce his first name again. The Champion. Uh, the Nightmare Horror. Street Wraith. Foil. Another Simeon Spirit Guide. Mika Koro. Curse Catcher. Is it Chemister? Mika Koro. Foil. I actually have no idea where that card even sits at as far as price range goes. Uh, I don't know the Great Revel. Uh, let me just shift stuff. I don't know the Great Revel. Mm, Breon Stout Arm. Fortune Thief. Corsair of Crufix. Coalition Relic. I do believe it's somewhere in the middle. Sundering Titan. Pack Mitigation. That's a good one. Prosh. And finally, started strong. Ended strong. So we started on Blood Moon. Ended on Azusa. All in all, I think this was a pretty solid box. It's not going to be a box that if you bought it, you're going to be like, oh man, my box was absolutely terrible. Um, wild. I had no idea. That's I, I thought that the only uh, Uncommon Legends were in uh, Iconic. I guess I was wrong. But, oh no, uh, like I said, this box would be a box that like, if you opened it, you'd be like, oh, I wish I got more. But you couldn't really complain because you could have easily opened less value in your box. Our mythics were a little lackluster aside from the Chalice of the Void. But all in all, I think it was a you know, a decent box. We got three Nettle Sentinels still, so I'm all aboard that. I still want to see what the Nettle Sentinels look like foil. I don't know whether I want to swap out my 
uh, Morning Tide or whatever the, the original printing one, those foils. But uh, I think we're going to cut it there because it's 1030. We've been opening a box for now 30 minutes talking about it. Uh, thank you all for tuning in. I will see you all around. And all of these will go on sale this Friday. Uh, this Friday at the shop. Most likely, if you come out, for, we are having a midnight draft as far as our draft schedule for before I, before I cut out. We are, our draft schedule this weekend is uh, Thursday midnight. So Thursday midnight, Friday at 12 a.m., uh, Friday at 6 p.m., Saturday at 2 p.m., Saturday at 6 p.m., and Sunday at 2 p.m. Uh, drafting this time, uh, we are going to be doing the first draft that you get into is $35. Every draft that you pay after, uh, you pay $5 less for each draft you play, uh, played before it. So your first draft is $35, second draft is $30, third draft is $25, fourth draft is $20, and your last draft would be $15 if you played in all five. So not too bad on value. And once again, thank you all for watching. Peace out.